What's going on, y'all? This is Sam Thory. Just came across something that's really cool and wanted to do a video on it. This is a project called Create Llama by a company called Llama Index that essentially will set up a rag for the box with Next.js. So looks like all you need is an OpenAI API key, which I have. You would then pay for that, obviously. But beyond that, I don't really know too much else about it. So we're going to try to build this without knowing all, a whole lot off the bat. We're going to use ChatGPT to do some initial research and then feed that into Cursor probably or some info into Cursor. I get this up and running as soon as possible. So first things first, we have a GitHub repository for this project right here. It has a pretty good readme where it goes through all the steps that you would need to take to get it set up. If we scroll all the way down here, we see we'll end up coming to this here in just a, in just a little bit. We actually set it up. We have all these questions. We'll be using Next.js with, the, with their API routes instead of Python. We're not going to use the Llama Cloud services yet. That's the part I'm a little bit questioning so far. So we'll have to figure that part out. We have the OpenAI API key and we'll plug that in. And we're not going to use VS Code. We'll get to all that. Anyways, first things first, we need to understand a few things. What's Llama Index? What's a RAG? What is this useful for? Do we have any use cases that we can apply this to? So we're going to use ChatGPT just to do some initial work here and, and set up some context, understand what we can use it for, and then go from there. So. We'll go over, we got ChatGBT. I did have it open, that's fine. All right, and we'll open it up in a small, small window here. And essentially, I wanna give it this URL first. So I'll come here, oh no, there it goes again. Take this repository and interpret this, as well as, we're gonna ask it to crawl llama indexes website so we can understand exactly what llama index is so let's find that dot ai cool so we'll grab this we'll go back over as well as crawl to fully understand what llama index does help me understand how we can apply this to my business or what what i do regularly help me understand how i can apply this to what i do and this will probably give me information about the the company that we run where we're setting up you know, stuff and, and websites. So, and we will see here. So we'll keep it at that for now. We can always add. And this is gonna use ChatGPT 4.0. We're not using 01 Mini or 01 Preview because those can't really interact with the web as 4.0 does. They're still kind of in beta. Tool that helps generate Llama Index applications. This CLI allows you to set up an app that connects large language models to your data sources quickly. It simplifies the process of loading, indexing, querying data in LLM applications by providing blah, 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 streamline some of your AI-driven projects, particularly if you're working on building customer dashboards. Build advanced dashboards. The indexing and querying features the Llama Index can enable users to access, search, and interact with data across multiple sources efficiently. Enhance AI-powered workflows. Context augmented approach of Llama Index ensures that the content produced is more relevant and aligned with specific data sets and customizable agents. So this will be essentially little robots doing work for us, basically different jobs that the LLM can perform on your behalf. So scheduling tasks, data comparisons, customer support interactions. Considering you already have experience with cloud integrations, uh, so let's just do a, a general understanding of what a RAG is. Retrieval augmented generation techniques, technique used in large language models to improve their performance by combining retrieval systems with generative models. So it retrieves the information, fed to the LLM as input, then generate more accurate and informed responses based off of that. So how can we use this create comma to build a rag for our business internally. So we'll have this centralized source of information that we can pull 
ask questions, build documents off of, etc. Instead of going through ChatGPT, might not always have the context that we want, doesn't understand all of our documents all the time, and may not be always up to date with the documents that we have. So Google Drive is what we use for our content management, but sometimes that's out of date with the content or the context that ChatGPT has. So set up Llama Index and RAG framework. Use your data sources. It's RAG involves retrieving context from your business's data. Identify key internal data sources, documents, SQL databases, PDFs, etc. So essentially, we can feed in our customer list from contact forms coming from Supabase, documents from Google Drive, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of stuff we can do. So this is great. Um, and that's just basically step one, configure data retrieval and indexing. Great. Um, that's awesome. Uh, let's take this over to Cursor. And um, before we do that, why don't we just run our project? this guy here um, we're gonna go let's see sorry all right here we are at the top um, we we'll usually do use PMP in the other videos but we can use MPX I always have that installed anyways um, terminal here and I'm gonna open quit that and build a new one there we go okay so we're gonna go ahead and run that and let's try it. Let's call this company name is uh, Raleigh AI Solutions. And we have some, what app do you want to build? Okay, so we have some presets here. Let me see if I can make this bigger for y'all too. Boom. That's so much better. Okay, so we have Agentic Rag, Data Scientist, Financial Report Generator. I love that. Code Artifact Agent. Interesting. Structured extraction. So good. Okay, so we're going to start with Agentic Rag because that's what we're doing. Um, Want to use Fast API. I've heard of Fast API is super cool. We're obviously going to use Next.js. We love Next.js. Um, we want to use Llama Cloud Services. We said no. Uh, provide your open AI API key. I'm going to take this off over here and just putting that in. And the next step is how would you like to proceed? Obviously my OpenAI API key is on the screen right now, so I'm not gonna show it. Um, have the steps that we looked at earlier. We can just generate code, start in VS Code, generate code and install the code, dependencies and run the app. Um, let's generate the code because then we can take it over to Cursor. Okay, we have our project and um, I go ahead and CD into that. Again, I'm still off screen here because my OpenAI key is still up there. Um, I hope go ahead and just open up Cursor instead. And we'll take it from there. New window, for Cursor, and we're gonna open a folder and we have this guy right here open. Okay, looks like we have a nice little app here. We have dot dev container json i don't know what this is cool um we have our app api chat config okay so our, we have to install some things yeah i'm gonna love that so let's then go over here once your app is generated okay so we have to install everything so that's not no pro problem so let's go ahead and open up our terminal encode here in cursor and I will do an npm install on this project. While I'm here, I see that, oh no, we should be okay. Just make sure. No, that should be fine. This is taking a while here. It's not typical that you would just see this stalling out here. Maybe I've lost my internet. I still have internet, that's good. Um, there we go. Goodness gracious, never seen it take that long before. It's still going. This is crazy. So obviously we don't really care about these NPM wards. This has been coding for long enough with Node. These are just things that you ignore. As long as it's still working, you're good to go. Um, probably not the smartest thing to say, but it is true. Okay, so we're all good there. And we can go over here, obviously take the NPM run dev. I don't know why I copied it and then wrote it. Fine. Come over here. Just want to get a little post. 
3,000. Let's see what we got right out the gate. Hopefully not an error. That wouldn't be good. Oh my. Okay, so this should be connected. Um, let's start with the document. We'll add and we'll tell it to put it into context. Um, will be a hub for context about my company called Raleigh AI Solutions. Here is a business overview document. Let's just go in. Uh, I don't want to bore you with the Google Drive stuff too much. So I'm just going to come in here and find this guy. Business profile. I think this will work. Let's do business plan. Download this and come back over here. And just drop that in. Can I drop it? No, I can't. Guess we'll have to fix that too. Okay, so it's allowing me to attach a document. This is interesting. We're, I don't know if it's processing this right now. Um, okay, it's document. Interesting. Now, does this save it locally here at all? Cache. It's reachable at API slash file slash output slash uploaded. So files. Okay. Is there anything in my public? No. Output. Uploaded. Hey, there it is. Okay, that's cool. So we have that. I'm going to go ahead and send this message. And we are chatting with ChatGPT via API. Um, what's going on got here? Uh, so it seems that you've provided a link to a document that I cannot access directly. However, if you can share the key details or specific sections from the business overview document, I can help you analyze or summarize that information. Alternatively, if you have specific questions about Raleigh AI solutions, feel free to ask. So we have some lead-ins here. And let's just see if it was able to process it from the business, from like uploading it. I, I'm not sure. Let's see here. It did. Okay. Raleigh AI Solutions offers a range of services and products focused on AI-powered innovation. Here are the main offerings based on the search results. We specialize in delivering tailored AI models. This is true. Um, this is also an older document. Um, let's see. The website's right. Yeah. Okay. Successful projects or case studies. We're just getting started out, so um, we do have some fake information in there, I guess. Um, and we check this document. Uh, I'll just go into that. Open this guy up. We'll just take a look at some of this information that's coming up with just to make sure that it isn't just completely um, that was business profile. Um, just completely hallucinating. Sorry. Um, okay, it missed a couple. Uh, revenue, investment, okay, so I'm not sure where it's pulling this other information from. This may be coming from my personal account with ChatGPT or from the document provided. I mean, either I'm cool. Um, it's based on general search and not from the document you mentioned. I currently do not have access to external files or documents, including the, the one referenced. If you would like me to extract specific information from that document, please share the relevant text or details and I can assist you further. Okay, so search the internet for it, which is not one of the um, uh, thoughts that we had. Uh, so that's cool though it's it's finding information about us in in that we do have some issues with um, the patchment how that works so we're gonna have to go in and talk to cursor about this um, so let's open up whoops there we go so I'm in I actually want to go to chat I'm gonna give it as we did with the other one um, the I'll go to the document uh, the word llama index and type it's fine docs llama index docs here we go so we'll attach this i'm sorry copy this um we're gonna add this go ahead to the settings and cursor settings and um if we go to is it features yeah um features here we see that we have all these docs already indexed what we're gonna do is hit, hit add new doc and just drop that in there and we'll call this my index all right and that did successfully um, 
get indexed, although it looks like sanity is not. So we're going to have to go back at some other time. We're not using sanity here. Um, okay, so I talked to the chat here instead of composer like we usually do at um, uh, index and help me debug why how the file attachment works in this project. How does that get indexed in the chat? And maybe I just don't have this um, llama index or llama cloud thing going on. I'm not sure. That actually, it should be storing that locally. Um, I don't see specific information about file attachments. Let me blow this up for you guys. Um, file attachment of chat indexing and llama index. The shared documentation mainly covers how to build and contribute to llama indexes documentation. Okay, so we have the wrong documentation. Um, okay, we're looking here. That seems pretty basic. Starter questions, loader. Okay, so we have a look at this initial doc that we had. Where's that guy? Right here. Um, power plan, two backends. Each backend has two endpoints, one streaming chat, one endpoint to upload private files, which can be used in your chat. Um, using your data, data, excuse me, using your data. Optionally, you can supply your own data to Apple, index it, and make use of it. We're not doing that. The Apple ingest any supported files you put in this directory. So, your generated app will have a folder called data. Where is my generated data? Um, I have 101.pdf in there. Do I need to put this in there? Um, okay. Remember, you'll need to rerun generate if you add new files to your data folder. That doesn't seem right. Well, let's see if running npm run generate does anything for us. I'm not really sure that it will, and that wouldn't make sense anyway, so we'd have to run that every time. Um, but look what happens here. Okay, so it really only looks like it pulled from this data folder. So when I'm doing the upload here, this needs to go into that data folder, doesn't it? Hmm. Not sure. Well, anyways, um, I think we'll stop here and then come back to debug this a little bit further when we have some more, more information. And we can also just go ahead and deploy this on Next.js so that we have a working app. We'll come back and, and fix it up and get it to do exactly what we want it to do as well. So. Thank you for watching. I'm, uh, hopefully this was um, useful to get started with Llama Index and Next.js. Uh, pretty and easily we were able to get going without much issue there. So that was cool. Thank you again.